Hello everyone. Welcome to Hema's Home and Garden in USA. So today we harvested a lot of kongura. Do you see the amount of gongura I harvested? This is a lot. This is so much of gongura and it is fresh, organically grown gongura harvested just now. So I don't want to waste this gongura. I'm going to make use of this and let me show you how I'm going to use it and how I'm going to make it so that I can store it for future. Come, let's go. So now I'm going to use this huge wok and I'm going to use homemade ghee. So I'm going to add good amount of ghee because we are going to store it for future. So I'm going to first turn on the stove. Generously add ghee. Let me add two scoops of this spoon. I'm not sure what is the quantity of this spoon, but I think this is enough. Now, once the ghee is hot, I'm going to add the gongura leaves and saute it. Okay, now you see the smoke. Let me reduce the flame and then add gongura leaves. I cannot add the whole thing at once. I am going to add batch by batch. The quantity will reduce drastically once you start sauteing it. I don't want to fry the gongura leaves. So I'm going to saute it and then keep adding more. If required, we can add more ghee also. So right now I'm just going to saute this batch. Saute the leaves. Smells really good. Look at the size now. We added the whole wok full of leaves, and now we have only this much because it reduces in size. So now the second batch is also ready. I sorted this very perfectly and look at this. This is what you want. So I'm going to transfer this one to this kongura. Now 
now you may be wondering why you need to saute the leaves before storing it every recipe that asks for gongura leaves asks you to saute the leaves before making it so at the time using the raw leaves and sauteing it will make it very slimy you the texture itself will be like very awful so you don't want that outcome right so that's the reason if you saute it with some fat content and store it so whenever the recipe is asking for sauteed gongura leaves you can directly add the leaves because you already did everything you don't have any work at that time so that's one reason you need to saute the leaves before freezing it so you don't want to use slimy gongura leaves you want good flavorful nice textured uh, gongura leaves in your recipe that's the reason for sauteing it in fat in butter or in ghee in ayurveda ghee is highly valued so use ghee as much as possible and you can use butter also butter is equally um good like ghee and i would not prefer using vegetable oil unless it is coconut oil or sesame oil so i transferred everything from the previous batch to this wok and let me show you how much we got look at this this is what we got after sauteing all the gongura leaves so it took me five times to do it so five whole wok full of gongura leaves after sauteing reduced into this so now i'm going to let it cool down so once it is uh, cooled down let us pack it and freeze it okay everything cooled down so i'm going to store everything in this ziploc bags let me write the name and date gongura september 12th 22 so i have written the name here so let me pack it I think this is a good amount for one time recipe so let me add this without getting to the outside okay let me add a little bit little bit not more okay so this is the same quantity i'm going to add in every single thing Yeah, done. Let me keep it aside. I got five Ziploc bags of sauteed gongura, so I actually expected some eight bags, but we got only five. I'm happy about it. Okay, we are done now. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and let me sing the same song that I sing at the end of my every video. Guys, 
if you like this video if you think my videos are useful and if you think my videos are entertaining please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and please hit the bell icon so you receive the notification whenever i post a new video thank you all for watching